Welcome everyone to my session, The Fabulous World of Data ETL, powered by Apache Nightmare and Scrapey. Um, my name is Bianca and I'm a consultant search and analytics at SHI, that's a German um, IT consultancy. Um, um, the team I'm working at um, yeah, mainly focuses on search and analytics. Um, we support companies building, integrating, and optimizing search and analytics solutions. And yeah, I like to use open source tools for that where it's possible, um, like Apache NiFi, Apache Solar, or also Elasticsearch. And um, yeah, today it's all about NIFA and Scrapey. Um, and I want to first introduce you to them in theory. I want to uh, tell you how to use them in or where, where they come to play in a ETL data flow. And then I want to tell you a little bit about their um, features and maybe also drawbacks. And then I want to show you a little demo um, how to scrape quotes, quotes from the web using Nifi and Scrapey. So let's get started. Um, yes, so in um, many, many projects, we will need data, um, for example, in AI or machine learning projects for um, some evaluations, creating dashboards, or also in search when we, for example, want to um, yeah, create a single search interface to search different um, yeah, sources. And um, for all of that, we need data. And um, to get this data, the ETL um, process comes into place. So ETL stands for Extract, Transform, Load. Um, and the first part, the extract part, is about um, extracting data from possibly um, yeah, many different um, sources, for example, content from the web, or application data like log data or clickstream data, or also data from APIs or data that's, um, that lies in some SQL database or whatever. And this data, after we've, we've extracted it, we um, will probably want to or need to transform it. And after that, we can then load load it into our target system, which could be, for example, a database or solar or some other sort of data store. Um, yes, and where come NiFi and Scrapey into place here? So NiFi can be used for yeah more or less the whole ETL process as, as it's a, a project which was built to automate the flow between different data systems. And Scrapey can be used whenever you need to scrape content from the web. Um, it's a Python framework for web crawling and web scraping. And now let's have a deeper look at Scrapey. So I've said it before, it's a open source Python framework. You need Python 3.6 or above to use it. Um, it's built for web crawling and web scraping, and you can use it to extract the data you need from an HTML um, page. What's very good about it is that it uses asynchronous requests for fast crawls, and that's a big advantage compared to other tools. And it also yeah, comes with an interactive shell console, which you can use for testing and debugging. Um, apart from this, it has some other features. For example, it offers integrated support for extracting data from HTML sources. You can do this, for example, with CSS developers um, using XPath or regular expressions. And there are also lots of other built-in functionalities and also configuration options. For example, um, Scrapey supports cookie and session management, also authentication, caching, and so on. And you can do things like limit the number of parallel requests per domain or per IP. Um, 
maybe also a drawback I'd like to mention about Scrapy is that um, scraping dynamic websites can be a little bit trickier um, because this often requires executing um, JavaScript code. And Scrapy does not really offer a out of the box solution, but nevertheless, there are workarounds. For example, you can pre-render the JavaScript with Scrapy Splash. So that's not a reason not to use um, Scrapy. Um, then on to NiFi. It's a an open source Apache project. It's built to automate the flow of data between systems. And um, it's all about data routing and transformation. And it also comes with a visual interface where you will um, develop your so-called data flow. You will configure it and you can also um, use it to control it and monitor the process. Um, some other features are guaranteed delivery. So um, it's all about not losing any data. NIFI also offers or supports data buffering and back pressure. And um, its main concept are the so-called processors. They um, each processor offers a yeah, um, specific pre-built functionality. For example, there's a get file processor to get a get a file from the file system or there are processors to query SOLA, there are processors to, um, for example, split data and so on. So with those pre-built processors, you can very quickly build some data flow and just yeah, enables you to develop really fast um, data flows. Um, NIFA is also flexible um, regarding the scaling. Um, for example, you can run NIFA in a cluster mode, similarly to solar, for example. So we will have high availability and um, yeah, be able to process much more data than with a single node. And maybe also some drawbacks I'd like to mention. Um, for example, NIFA does not offer everything you might be used to um, from, yeah, let's say normal programming. For example, there's no testing framework for automated tests available. Um, and also about those pre-built processors. Um, there are very, lots of processors that can, that cover a lot of tasks, but obviously not all tasks. Um, are covered, so um, you might have to either um, um, define your own um, custom processor, or you can also use um, processors that can execute, um, for example, Groovy script or Python script or whatever. Um, but sometimes using those processors can be a little bit, let's say, annoying because the um, testing or the bugging or scripting within NIFI is not as user friendly as in, yeah, like real um, development environments. So that's one point to consider when using NIFI. Um, yes, so that's all. Um, the theory. Now I want to show you um, a little demo um, and yeah, show you how to scrape quotes from the web. Um, the web page I want to scrape here is this um, quotes to scrape.com and we want to scrape all the quotes with tag humor. So this page and there's also a second page we want to crawl all those um, quotes so um, first of all we want to get the text of the quote and then also the authors um, and we can have a look at the source code and obviously we want we don't do not want to have all this html and solar we just want um yeah the relevant parts like the text of the quote and the author. 
Um, and to achieve this, we will first of all use um, Scrapey. Um, so I get my Python here. This is um, my little um, Scrapey project. The most important part about it is the so-called um, spider. Um, Spiders are the classes that define the behavior of the crawl for a specific website or also multiple websites. Um, and here we have our quote spider. Um, so we first um, have to define a start URL or multiple ones. We, we've set here the one I've just shown you. And then we have this par parse method, which will um, yeah, just extract the author and text for each quote. Um, it's done via an XPath expression and a CSS selector. And then in case there is a next page available, we will also go to that page and crawl that as well. Um, and if not, we are done and can return our um, crawled quotes. So that's the most important part about um, Scrapey. Now on to NiFi because um, we want to um, execute our Scrapey code um, via NiFi and we will then also do some transformations on the response from Scrapey. Um, and in the end, we will send it to Sola just yeah to cover the whole ETL process. Um, yeah, and so this is the NiFi um, yeah UI. So those um, are the different processors I've um, I'm using here. First of all, a execute process processor. Um, which can execute the Scrapey Spider. I've just um, configured the command here. It's Scrapey crawl quotes, and I've set the working directory. And then I can just let this run once. And then um, we see um, that here um, in this queue, there's now a so-called flow file. Um, which was yeah, kind of generated by the Scrapey code. And we can ha also have a look at that and see that we've uh, got um, 12 uh, little JSON um, objects and they are all consist of an author and the text. And here we can also see that we've got um, the whole two pages um, because the first one consists of 10 second one of two, so um, 12 in total. We've got all of them here. So now um, one thing that bothers me here is uh, this Unicode. Um, that's just um, the quotation marks that are here, that surround the quotes, um, but I, I just don't want those quotation marks um, indexed into Solar, so I will remove them in NiFi. Um, and to do that, I, sorry, I have to move this around. Um, yes, to do this, I'm using to replace text processors. Here you can just um, specify a search value and a replace value, and then it will, yeah, replace the text accordingly. And now we can have a look at the result and see Okay, um, it's kind of the same data, but without those uh, Unicode um, parts. So that's just what I wanted to achieve. <clears throat> and then the next step in the sniper flow is this put solar content stream processor. It will, um, it's just uh, meant to index data into solar. So you just have to specify the solar um, URL here and the collection. And I mean, you can um, configure some other settings, but usually the default is just fine. And now 
I've um, started this and can now have a look at my um, solar collection. Um, the collection is called Quotes. Um, and I should have actually shown you before that there was nothing in that collection yet. Um, but now when I do a search now, we can see we get uh, 12 results. So all 12 um, quotes got indexed into solar um, with author and text. We could have obviously also done much more transformations in, in NIFI, for example, added a timestamp or something like that to the um, data um, and all sorts of other stuff. Um, yes, but that's my quite basic demo just to give you a feeling for those tools. Um, so let's return to um, my presentation. <clears throat> so um, yeah, in case you're interested in more, I've got some links here to the Scrapey docs, the NiFi docs, and also some of our SHI pages about NiFi and also NiFi training. And that's it. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Um, I hope you're going to have a great um, rest of the day.